At 92 years old, Marla Gibbs, renowned for her unforgettable portrayal of Florence Johnston on The Jeffersons, continues to captivate audiences with her unwavering dedication to the craft. Currently gracing the screen in the recurring role of Price on the Peacock drama Days of Our Lives, Gibbs exemplifies age-defying passion. Beyond her acting commitments, she is deeply engrossed in a memoir writing project set for release next year. Delving into her real-life motivations, the actress's tireless work ethic over the past six decades becomes a poignant narrative to explore. Marla Gibbs, born Margaret Bradley on June 14, 1931, is a versatile American entertainer with a career that has left an indelible mark on the realms of acting, singing, comedy, writing, and television production. Her extraordinary career has unfolded across an impressive seven decades, making her a revered figure in the entertainment industry. One of the standout chapters in Marla Gibbs's career is her portrayal of Florence Johnston on the CBS sitcom The Jeffersons, which aired from 1975 to 1985. In this iconic show, she played the character of George Jefferson's no-nonsense maid, bringing wit, charm, and humor to the screen. Florence Johnston became a beloved character, and Marla Gibbs's impeccable performance earned her widespread recognition and acclaim. The pinnacle of her success in this role is evident in the five nominations she received for the Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Comedy Series. This recognition solidified her status as a talent to be reckoned with in the television industry. Beyond her achievements as an actress, Marla Gibbs has showcased her multifaceted talents in various other fields. As a singer, her vocal prowess has resonated with audiences, adding another layer to her artistic repertoire. Her comedic skills have not only shown through in her acting, but have also been a cornerstone of her stand-up performances, captivating audiences with her sharp wit and humor. In addition to her work in front of the camera, Marla Gibbs has made significant contributions behind the scenes as a writer and television producer. Her involvement in these aspects of the industry demonstrates her deep understanding and commitment to the craft of storytelling, further solidifying her impact on the entertainment landscape. She entered the world at Cook County Hospital in Chicago, Illinois. Growing up in the vibrant Bronzeville neighborhood on the south side of the city, she found herself in the midst of a dynamic and culturally rich community. Marla, the middle child among three sisters, experienced a formative upbringing that played a crucial role in shaping her future. Her father, Douglas Bradley, a self-taught mechanic hailing from waterproof Louisiana, was a determined entrepreneur who owned an ice company. His dedication to his craft and entrepreneurial spirit likely left a lasting impression on young Marla. Tragically, he passed away in 1947, leaving the family to navigate the challenges of life without him. Marla's mother, Ophelia Birdie, nay Kemp, was a businesswoman with a fascinating side venture, occasionally running numbers in the gambling trade. The complexities and diversity of her mother's pursuits might have influenced Marla's understanding of the world from an early age. In 1936, when Marla was just five years old, her parents divorced. Her mother remarried Charles Cady and relocated to Detroit, Michigan, while Marla and her siblings stayed in Chicago under the care of their father and grandmother, Hattie Sims. Life in Chicago's Bronzeville neighborhood provided the backdrop for Marla's formative years. She attended Corpus Christi Elementary School, where she received her education and graduated in 1945. The challenges and triumphs of her childhood and early adolescence likely contributed to the resilience and strength that would become hallmarks of her later career. Following her graduation from Corpus Christi Elementary School, Marla Gibbs embarked on the next phase of her education at St. Elizabeth High School. At St. Elizabeth, she completed her freshman year and the first semester of her sophomore year. However, the course of her high school journey took an unexpected turn during the middle of her sophomore year when she made the decision to transfer to Wendell Phillips Academy High School. 
Wendell Phillips Academy High School became the new backdrop for Marla's academic and personal growth. This transition marked a period of change and self-discovery during her formative years. As she navigated the challenges of high school life, her burgeoning talents and interests began to take shape. The trajectory of Marla's life took a significant turn when she was just 16 years old. Tragically, her father, Douglas Bradley, passed away. In the wake of this loss, Marla's life underwent a substantial shift. Following her father's death, she was sent to live with her mother, Ophelia Birdie, and stepfather, Charles Cady, in Detroit, Michigan. In Detroit, Marla briefly attended Northern High School during the latter part of her junior year. The experience of living in a new city and attending a different high school added another layer to her adolescent journey. However, her time in Detroit was relatively short-lived, as she eventually returned to Chicago. Upon returning to her hometown, Marla re-enrolled at Wendell Phillips Academy High School, where she completed her high school education, graduating in June 1949. This period marked the culmination of her formal education and set the stage for the next chapters in her life. In the subsequent years, Marla Gibbs continued her educational pursuits by returning to Detroit, Michigan, where she attended Peter's Business School. This choice reflected her commitment to expanding her skill set and preparing for the challenges and opportunities that lay ahead. In 1963, Marla Gibbs underwent a significant life change that would ultimately set the stage for her illustrious career in the entertainment industry. Facing health challenges related to an ulcer, she made the decision to relocate to Los Angeles, seeking a change of environment and an opportunity to recuperate. Little did she know that this move would become a transformative chapter in her life. Upon settling in Los Angeles, Marla initially found employment as a reservations agent for United Airlines. It was during this time that she began to explore her interest in acting, taking her first steps in the world of local black theater. These early forays into the performing arts hinted at the talent that would later blossom into a distinguished acting career. In the early 1970s, Marla Gibbs secured her first acting roles in the black exploitation films Sweet Jesus, Preacher Man, and Black Belt Jones. These experiences marked the beginning of her journey in front of the camera, foreshadowing the significant roles that awaited her in the years to come. The turning point in Marla Gibbs' acting career came in 1975 when she was cast as Florence Johnston, the family's maid, in the CBS comedy series The Jeffersons. This groundbreaking role not only showcased her comedic prowess, but also became a pivotal moment in the representation of African-American characters on television. Remarkably, during the initial two years of her acting stint with CBS, Marla Gibbs continued to balance her budding acting career with her job as a reservations agent for United Airlines. Juggling her responsibilities, she would spend her days at the CBS television studio honing her craft and contributing to the success of The Jeffersons. However, the nights were dedicated to her job at United Airlines, where she worked the night shift, showcasing her work ethic and determination. As The Jeffersons gained acclaim and established itself as a television success, CBS recognized Marla Gibbs's contributions and requested that she take a leave of absence from her job at United Airlines. This marked a crucial juncture in her career, as she transitioned from a dual life to fully embracing her role as a prominent actress. Marla Gibbs's portrayal of Florence Johnston in The Jeffersons not only earned her widespread acclaim, but also brought her recognition in the form of award nominations. Her outstanding performance garnered an impressive five nominations for a Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Comedy Series. Additionally, she received a nomination for a Golden Globe Award for Best Supporting Actress, Series, Miniseries, or Television Film, highlighting the impact of her role on the industry and audiences alike. In 1981, Marla Gibbs took on a new challenge by starring in the short-lived spin-off of The Jeffersons, titled Checking In.
This venture showcased her versatility as an actress and demonstrated her ability to carry the weight of a lead role. Reflecting on her iconic character Florence Johnston in a 2015 interview on Broadway Showbiz, Marla Gibbs revealed a personal connection to the role. When asked if she based any of her characters on real-life people, she responded affirmatively, sharing that Florence was inspired by her aunt and grandmother. This personal connection added authenticity to her portrayal, making Florence a character that resonated not only with Gibbs, but also with audiences who appreciated the genuine and relatable nature of her performance. In the interview, Gibbs acknowledged that Florence's character came easily to her, as she drew inspiration from real-life figures. She identified with Florence's ability to deliver smart answers, a trait she shared with her character. However, Gibbs admitted to a difference in personality, noting that while Florence was bold and outspoken, she, in reality, was a bit more reserved and shy. This insight into her approach to the character highlighted Gibbs's skill in embodying roles that felt authentic while infusing them with her own unique charm. Beyond her work on The Jeffersons and its spin-off, Marla Gibbs continued to pursue a diverse range of roles. In the interview, she mentioned her love for drama, noting her involvement in the series Scandal. Simultaneously, she maintained her comedic prowess, still engaging in the genre through her role on Hot in Cleveland. This versatility underscored her ability to navigate between different genres and showcased her enduring impact on both comedic and dramatic landscapes within the entertainment industry. After the conclusion of The Jeffersons in 1985, concluding an impressive 11-season run, Marla Gibbs swiftly transitioned into a lead role in the NBC sitcom 227. This marked a new chapter in her television career, and her performance in 227 showcased her versatility as an actress. The show was not just a new venture for Gibbs. It also represented a creative collaboration with Ed Cambridge, the then president of Cambridge Players and Artistic Director at Gibbs's Crossroads Theater in Los Angeles. 227 was adapted from a play directed by Cambridge and was presented to NBC through Gibbs's theater. The sitcom 227 had a successful run from 1985 to 1990, spanning five seasons and producing a total of 116 episodes. Marla Gibbs's portrayal of Mary Jenkins, the lead character, once again demonstrated her ability to anchor a series with humor and charm. The show, set in a Washington, D.C. apartment building, dealt with the everyday lives and comedic interactions of its diverse group of residents. In a fascinating twist of fate, two decades later, Marla Gibbs reunited with her former 227 co-star Jackie Harry in a new project titled The First Family. In this series, Gibbs took on a recurring role as Grandma Eddie, showcasing her enduring appeal and ability to connect with audiences across generations. The reunion with Jackie Harry extended beyond television when the two actresses collaborated again in the independent film Forbidden Woman, further cementing the bond forged during their time on 227. Marla Gibbs's ability to seamlessly transition from one successful project to another highlighted her staying power in the industry. Her involvement in 2i27 not only solidified her status as a leading actress in the sitcom genre, but also demonstrated her influence behind the scenes, given her collaboration with Ed Cambridge in bringing the show to fruition. The continued collaboration with Jackie Harry in The First Family and Forbidden Woman spoke to the enduring friendships and professional relationships forged throughout Gibbs's illustrious career. These later projects reinforced her reputation as a versatile and beloved actress, capable of bringing humor, depth, and relatability to a wide range of roles. In addition to her prolific acting career, Marla Gibbs showcased her entrepreneurial spirit by owning and operating a jazz club in South Central Los Angeles. Named Marla's Memory Lane Jazz and Supper Club, the establishment became a cultural hub and a vibrant space for the local community.
From 1981 to 1999, the club was not only a venue for jazz enthusiasts, but also a testament to Gibbs' commitment to supporting the arts and creating a platform for talented musicians. Beyond her involvement in the hospitality industry, Marla Gibbs also showcased her musical talents as a singer. She released a number of albums, demonstrating her versatility as an artist. Her foray into music added another dimension to her artistic portfolio, allowing her to express herself through the medium of song. In 1990, Marla Gibbs took a significant step in fostering the arts by moving her Crossroads Arts Academy and Theatre into the former Lamert Theatre in Los Angeles. The Academy and theater represented a space dedicated to nurturing artistic talent and providing a platform for creative expression. The move to the historic Lemert Theater signaled a commitment to expanding the reach and impact of the Crossroads Arts Academy. One of the ambitious plans for the Crossroads Arts Academy and theater included the construction of a second stage. This expansion aimed to enhance the Academy's capacity to showcase a diverse range of performances and productions. However, despite the ambitious vision, the project encountered financial challenges and, unfortunately, ended in debt in June 1997. While the financial difficulties marked a challenging chapter in Gibbs's efforts to contribute to the arts community, her dedication to fostering creativity and providing opportunities for artists remained evident. The combination of her jazz club, singing career, and the Crossroads Arts Academy and theater reflected a commitment to creating spaces where artistic expression could thrive and where the local community could engage with and appreciate the arts. Marla Gibbs's prolific career extended beyond television to include a notable presence in film and a variety of supporting roles. In addition to her iconic work in sitcoms, she ventured into the cinematic realm, showcasing her talent in a range of roles. Throughout her career, Gibbs took on several supporting film roles, contributing her skill and presence to the big screen. Her versatility as an actress was evident as she seamlessly transitioned between television and film, leaving her mark on both mediums. In the realm of television, Gibbs continued to make memorable appearances on popular shows. Her guest-starring roles included noteworthy appearances on The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, Martin, Touched by an Angel, alongside Della Reese, Judging Amy, E.R., and Southland. Each guest appearance showcased her ability to adapt to diverse roles, whether in comedy or drama reaffirming her status as a sought-after and accomplished actress. From 1998 to 2002, Marla Gibbs took on a recurring role on the sitcom The Hugh Lays. Her contribution to the show added another layer to her extensive body of work, further solidifying her status as a beloved figure in the world of television comedy. In 2012, Gibbs made a notable appearance in the Tyler Perry film Medea's Witness Protection. Her collaboration with Tyler Perry, a prominent figure in the entertainment industry, marked a continuation of her involvement in high-profile projects. In 2014, Marla Gibbs starred in the independent film Grantham and Rose, showcasing her enduring commitment to exploring diverse roles in both mainstream and independent cinema. Her presence in independent films underlined her dedication to storytelling, across various platforms, and her willingness to engage with projects that offered unique narratives and perspectives. Marla Gibbs's continued activity in both film and television well into the 21st century highlighted her enduring relevance and adaptability as an actress. Her willingness to take on roles in a variety of genres, from sitcoms to dramas and independent films, spoke to her artistic versatility and the respect she commanded in the industry. In 2015, Marla Gibbs marked her return to television with two notable appearances in the Shonda Rhimes drama series Scandal. Her involvement in this critically acclaimed series, known for its intricate plot lines and compelling characters, demonstrated Gibbs's continued ability to land roles in high-profile projects. Following her stint on Scandal, 
Gibbs continued to grace the small screen with guest starring roles on various shows. Her appearances included a memorable stint on the sitcom Hot in Cleveland, where she showcased her comedic prowess alongside a talented ensemble cast. Subsequently, she made a haunting appearance on American Horror Story Hotel, a testament to her versatility as an actress willing to explore different genres and styles. In addition to her dramatic roles, Gibbs left a lasting impression with her guest-starring role on the emotional and acclaimed series This Is Us. Her presence added depth to the show's ensemble, highlighting her ability to connect with audiences through poignant and heartfelt performances. In 2018, Marla Gibbs was cast in a recurring role on the ABC drama series Station 19. This marked another significant chapter in her television career, aligning her with a network known for producing compelling dramas. Her involvement in Station 19 showcased her enduring appeal to both audiences and casting directors, reinforcing her position as a respected figure in the television industry. Marla Gibbs's commitment to television extended beyond acting, as evidenced by her participation in two television pilots. In 2014, she starred in Old Soul, alongside Ellen Burstein and Rita Moreno for NBC, signaling her ongoing involvement in projects featuring powerhouse talents. In 2017, she took on another pilot, Jalen Vs. Everybody, for ABC, further showcasing her willingness to explore new roles and contribute to the development of fresh and innovative content. In the realm of film, Gibbs co-starred in Lemon and Please Stand By, expanding her reach into the cinematic landscape. These film roles complemented her extensive television career, illustrating her capacity to excel across multiple mediums and genres. Marla Gibbs's personal life has been marked by significant relationships and familial connections. She was married once to her high school sweetheart Jordan Gibbs, and their marriage lasted from 1955 to 1973. During this time, the couple welcomed three children into their family, Angela, Dorian, and Joseph. This period of her life was not only marked by the demands of a burgeoning career, but also by the responsibilities of motherhood and marriage. Marla Gibbs's family ties extended to her older sister, the late actress Susie Garrett. Susie Garrett is perhaps best known for her role as Cherie's grandmother, Betty Johnson, on the NBC series Punky Brewster. The siblings' shared involvement in the entertainment industry reflected a familial connection to the world of acting, creating a unique bond that extended beyond personal relationships. One of Marla Gibbs's children, her daughter Angela, followed in her mother's footsteps and pursued a career in acting. Angela Gibbs made notable appearances on the TV show Sanford and Son and in films such as Together Brothers, Drumline, and Think Like a Man Too. The mother-daughter duo's shared interest in the performing arts became a testament to their creative lineage and mutual passion for the industry. On July 31, 2014, Marla Gibbs attended the Limert Park Village Book Fair in Los Angeles, California where she paid tribute to two iconic figures in the literary and entertainment world, Maya Angelou and Ruby Dee. Both Angelo and Dee had recently passed away, and Gibbs's presence at the event demonstrated her deep respect for these influential women and their contributions to the arts. In January 2016, Marla Gibbs and her former 227 co-star, Jackie Harry, attended the funeral of Grammy Award-winning singer Natalie Cole at the West Angeles Church of God in Christ in Los Angeles, California. This shared experience underscored the lasting connections forged during their time working together on 2 on 27. Notably, Gibbs and Natalie Cole co-starred in the television film Lily in Winter further highlighting the intersections of their professional lives. In 2019, Marla Gibbs delighted fans and made television history by reprising her iconic role as Florence Johnston on Live in Front of a Studio Audience, Norman Lear's All in the Family and the Jeffersons. This special live television event, 
which aired less than a month before her 88th birthday, brought together classic episodes of the beloved sitcoms All in the Family and The Jeffersons with a star-studded cast reenacting the memorable roles. Gibbs's return as Florence showcased her enduring connection to the character and the lasting impact of her contributions to television. In 2021, Marla Gibbs embarked on a new chapter in her career with a recurring role as Olivia Price on the long-running NBC daytime drama Days of Our Lives. Joining the cast of a soap opera demonstrated her versatility as she seamlessly transitioned from sitcoms to the dramatic and episodic format of daytime television. The role of Olivia Price allowed Gibbs to bring her talent to a new audience while continuing to captivate longtime fans with her performances. The same year brought a well-deserved and prestigious honor for Marla Gibbs as she was awarded a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. This recognition underscored her enduring contributions to the television industry and celebrated her remarkable career that spanned decades. The star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame served as a tangible symbol of her impact on the entertainment landscape and solidified her status as a Hollywood legend. What do you think about Marla Gibbs's life? Leave us your comments in the section below. We hope you have found this helpful video. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thank you for watching this and see you in the next videos. Goodbye.